Where do you see the future as far as the tourist industry is concerned in Dubai? Well, I think um, in terms of my strategy this year, it's been about diversification and segmentation of the market. Um, Dubai is well known. It's not as if I need to do a brand campaign to you know alert people to the fact that Dubai you know exists. So. The effort this year really has been about getting underneath the skin a little bit and saying, you know, why is Dubai relevant to, you know, various groups of individuals. So we've segmented the market this year and um, we're identifying four key sectors. So family is one that we've pulled out and, you know, we've got um, Atlantis has opened very, very recently with AquaVenture and there are many more family products lined up. A few years away, some of them, but, you know, Universal Studios and SeaWorld and so on, um, Lego Land DreamWorks. So family is one segment. Another is... Um, wellness and shopping and the spa type holidays. There's a growing number of amazing world-class spas in Dubai that people might not be too aware of. Dubai Shopping Mall, Dubai Mall rather, opens uh, October, it's just opened. Um, and so there's a, a huge amount of product there as well, so we're pulling that out as a segment. Another one is sport. We talk a lot about golf and that's still very, very valid uh, with you know Tiger Woods is opening shortly, Ernie Els has just opened there. but. Um, it's not just about golf, there's lots of other sporting opportunities out there, you know, for the sort of the adrenaline junk, junkie, if you like. And the final one is Dubai is a city break destination, um, and we can talk a lot more about the fine dining and the, the, the nightlife and so on. Um, it's a seven hour flight, it's great shopping, you know, it's great entertainment, great food. So um, that's been our strategy this year, and it's meant that we could, um, we've been buying into different media and creating specific uh, artwork and creative to target those groups. So it's been quite a, a change, actually. In terms of a visitor experience to Dubai, obviously uh, lots of development, lots of fabulous places and things to do, fabulous hotels. What about the infrastructure? Well, a lot of people talk about traffic issues and things like that. What's going on there? Yeah, there's quite a lot, to be honest with you. The, the traffic has improved dramatically. Um, in terms of the roads, a new toll system was put in place, actually, which has reduced the amount of, uh, of traffic coming into Dubai. Um, there are a number of bridges that have been built to ease uh, congestion over the creek. The, um, in terms of ongoing infrastructure, the new terminal at the airport um, is now open, and so that's taken Dubai International Airport to about 70 million capacity. Um, as you're probably aware, Al Maktoum National Airport is under construction now as well so that will um, also help with the traffic in some sense because it's the other side of Dubai so anybody staying down in the Jumeirah side of, um, of Dubai um, it'll be that airport will be a lot a lot closer to where they're where they're holidaying so there's a there's a there's an awful lot actually in terms of um, the government expenditure about 40 percent of the government expenditure is into infrastructure I think there's a um, uh, you know, the government are very aware that if we want to grow the numbers as aggressively as, uh, as we've publicised, that we need to build the infrastructure as well. And the other one to mention, of course, is the metro, which opens um, September 2009. So that will be a very, very large metro system. Cool. And Dubai, obviously, a centre for uh, major events. What's coming up in 2009? Well, for the, in terms of the travel industry, the ITT conference is going there in 2009, which um, I'm very, very excited about. That will be in June at the Intercontinental Festival City. Um, that's, you know, a big deal. Um, always sporting events, you know, we, I think it's something I need to talk a little bit more about in my marketing communications. The Dubai Rugby Sevens has taken place. Um, it's November this year, but also next year. So that's an annual event. We've got the world's richest horse race. We've got the world's richest golf tournament. So in terms of sporting events, there are countless. Um, and then the other one that's very, very big, which will, it's not 2009, but coming up shortly, is the official opening of the Palm, actually, which is on the 20th of November. So that will be a pretty spectacular party going on on the Palm. I think Kylie's lined up to play. So uh, that should be pretty special.